So I've got a couple of replays of the uh, the tier six Polish uh, medium tank, the uh, the Poodle. Uh, so first one's on on mines. Uh, I'm just going up to a little uh, area I quite like to, to take, which isn't the hill. Uh, it's sort of opposite the, I suppose, the entrance of the of the central sort of peak of the hill. So sort of like the E4 area. <laughs> just go into this camping T34 there. Uh, so on the enemy team, uh, there's a three-person platoon of Panzer Pythors. So I am expecting them to come up here. Uh, that's why I've decided to go this this direction straight away, uh, sort of expecting the the Panzer Five Four YOLO into the middle, uh, which they which, which they should do really, uh, considering the speed and the uh, the strength of those tanks. Got this KB two just being very careful, just trying to side scrape, just try and bait a shot there, uh, just with the back, uh, the uh, the bug is uh, still there, so. I give up with that. I uh, feel like I, I just can't, can't take a hit from him. Notice that the uh, the five four platoon is coming across, uh, sort of one two line. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just putting shots into him. Uh, I think this replay also shows just you know five fours when they're played badly. You know, the, the hit points just turn into sort of uh, <laughs> XP pinatas uh, for, for the enemy team. So. Yeah, no idea at all what, what this one in particular is doing. Uh, yeah, ob obviously uh, reversing and uh, just checking where they're going. I get too excited to try and finish him off and just go down the hill. So our team's pushed the hill really well. Uh, yeah, still can't dodge the artillery there. Uh, so uh, yeah, our, our team's pushed the hill really well. And as you can see, we've got two heavies uh, sort of D7 area and they're holding off pretty much the entire red team push around there. Uh, yeah, we, we really have taken the hill quite comfortably. Just coming down here, uh, I didn't usually use these uh, positions because you don't usually have the opportunity to do so, but uh, I am here and yeah, just putting shots into the side. So I think that was actually, uh, I, I took out all of those five fours. So you know, if you, if you get uh, side shots onto onto a 5-4, just try and aim for the for the back. Uh, they they can get set on fire quite easily. Uh, and as you saw, uh, the shots were going through. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's the uh, the penetration rolls that have changed that, that helps that, but uh, yeah, they're just a big big target, uh, especially if they're uh, slap side on, like uh, pretty much all uh, all three of those were. So just down to the, the last three enemy tanks, uh, as usual with mines, uh, we took the the, the hill, uh, we took it quite strongly. So we, we win the battle, uh, going to get the last kill on the on the Nashorn. So yeah, uh, one thousand nine hundred. Uh, damage on that one, just over 700 assistance. So yeah, good game. We get MVP, uh, which is always good. So yeah, always uh, nice to see that direct hits. So kept the gun working. Got first class on that one. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a good game. It was it was good to get those five fours out. Uh, I was concerned they were just going to push the hill, but uh, yeah, they really could have uh, could have pushed. Yeah, as you see, it's just triple zeros on one of the five fours. So they are overpowered in the right hands, those Panzer five fours. Uh, so the next game, uh, this is on, on Sand River. Uh, yeah, just going to move into position sort of around sort of the C7 position I, I like to go on in, in mediums. So uh, this tank, uh, I really like it, I really do like. Uh, these sort of tier six panthers. I got the uh, the tech tree one uh, and, and really really liked it. So uh, yeah, I, I got this. It was on offer. Uh, understand that the the Wodczek, uh, the Polish, the other Polish uh, sort of tier six medium is exactly the same as this, but just a reskin. Uh, I, I quite like the look of this one better. 
Uh, I think the, the Wojciech is don't really like the, the skin that it's got on it. So I've got this one. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I do have the Panther. I've got quite a few Panthers actually. I've got the Bretagne as well and really like the playstyle. So another overpower tank here. We've, we've got a, an Absolution coming towards us. Uh, Penetrating it with with the standard ammunition, which is which is good. Uh, take a shot there. Uh, get tracked, but I've got the uh, got the repair kit to just get out of the way. So at the moment, so our mediums are pushed across. So fairly certain that it's just that medium, and there's an absolution around there somewhere. We'll get a spot. Uh, just across on the heavy tank, so hopefully we'll start getting some uh, assistance in. Just, uh, just putting shots into this Jagdpanzer IV. Uh, seeing if I can just get the pixel shot, and I do. So, if the shot's dead, just take it. Uh, that was the finished shot you can you can get. So, feeling quite confident. Uh, seeing if I can just get a shot there, but lose the spot. So I'm just sitting on this ridge at the moment, uh, just waiting for someone to, to crest one of the hills. Ricochet off the roof, unfortunately, so I do start to load the premium. And the, the VK3002M is, is still there. Uh, so I'm now thinking there's an absolution. Our absolution has been, been taken out. Uh, so I'm just thinking what to do at the moment. I feel like we're going to get rushed at some point. So I'm just backing off to go up onto the uh, the ridge here just to get a little bit of distance. And sure enough I've been able to get up, get a shot in. I'm actually firing without being seen. I, I was expecting as soon as to be fired to to be spotted. So now I'm supposed to just going to put a shot in and, and roll back down. Wasn't going to stay up there. Uh, too long uh, if they've got any tank destroyers up by their base or just across the map uh, my lower plate will be completely exposed so uh, the absolution I, I think the absolution was the one that spotted me I, I just poked uh, a little further or a little closer to them no artillery in the game so I feel quite confident to uh, just sit there so sort of, I just sat there just to feign that I was going to pop back up there uh, but instead I'm just going to roll rounds here I've uh, got this uh, M4 over there, see if we've got any spots. So uh, yeah, do what I usually do, come over that ridge, come onto this one. Uh, just try and spot anyone uh, that's that's camping. So we, we come up, uh, I feel like I have overextended, I get lucky, uh, I ricochet and, and, and track two shots, so I know that Likely that the uh, the TD's back there. So, so just focusing on on this STRV 74. Just putting some shots shots in, uh, aiming for the lower plate, but looks like all the shots are going through anyway. So just to uh, see if I can get closer. Just staying, keeping this this uh, sort of sand dune ridge uh, between me and, and and where I believe they're camping. Just coming up here to see if I can get a. Uh, a shot I can't. So yeah, I, I really like this tank. It, it's got a quite a nice gun, as you can see. I was penetrating the uh, the absolution with the standard rounds. It's unfortunate that I, I ricocheted uh, off its roof, though. Uh, so I did load the, the, the premium just to try and guarantee it. Uh, yeah, just just ignore my drive in there. Again, another player I quite like doing on, on Sand River. Uh, they're obviously in this position expecting everyone to go around where my team are, sort of B1, and, and come through that way, but I quite like going this way. It helps with the team's vision, though those three mediums that are pushing, I can be their, their eyes for anything over here that's... So there we go, so we've, we've spotted the hell the Hellcat. Uh, making him him back off. So just come and go use this, this ridge, see if I can spot anything else out. Let's take a snapshot. It goes in, so yeah, again, uh, the 6.0 accuracy with, with that. Got these, uh, the last three tanks are all in this area, so I'm now feeling that the, the Hellcat's going to just 
Just pinging the team to attack. Yeah, not too sure why they're capping 8 3 and we know where they all are. Uh, so, yeah, how can stand? Put a shot. Lucky that it's set him on fire. Just take a shot onto this uh, 2 1 7. I should have really focused the light tank. Uh, set that one on fire and get the kill. It comes round. Yeah, not too sure. I think at that point he had given up. Maybe just trying to reset the cap or, or something. Uh, but we know the last one is the Hellcats alive. We know it's gone over this ridge. He's on low health because we set it on fire. And sure enough, there he is. Uh, turning his front armor towards us. Not really going to help him that much, to be honest. So yeah, uh, almost 2,700 damage on that one. Uh, yeah, MVP on that one, five kills. Yeah, three shy of, of 2,700. Uh, again, uh, 24 direct hits. This this gun really does uh, pump the uh, the rounds out. So yeah, ace tanker on that one. Uh, yeah, high caliber. So really good game. Uh, considering there was a couple of absolutions in there that we that we came out on top, which is which is great. But uh, yeah, I, I really like the tank. I really like the play style. Uh, if you're looking at sort of getting one of the poodle or the the wad check. Uh, or even the the, uh, the Bretang. Do try and get the uh, the Tech Tree one first because that is ex exactly the same as these ones, fully uh, fully upgraded. So yeah, Poodle, really good tank. Uh, really suits my playstyle. And uh, yeah, hopefully those uh, those replays uh, have been useful.